Saint Augustine commentary on Psalm 92 following But mine horn shall be exalted like the horn of an unicorn verse 10 Why did he say like the horn of an unicorn Sometimes an unicorn signifies pride Sometimes it means the lifting up of unity. Because unity is lifted up, all heresies shall perish with the enemies of God. And mine horn shall be exalted like an unicorn. When will, when will it be so? And mine old age shall be in the fatness of mercy. Why did he say, my old age? He means my last days. As our old age is the last season in our lives, so the whole of what the body of Christ at present suffers in labors, in cares, in watchings, in hunger, in thirst, in stumbling blocks, in wickedness, in tribulations, is, is its youth. Its old age, that is, its last days, will be in joy. And beware, beloved, that ye think not death meant also, in that he hath spoken of old age. For man groweth old in the flesh for this reason, that he may die. The old age of the church will be white with good works, but it shall not decay through death. What the head of the old man is, that our works will be. Ye see how the head grows old and whitens as fast as old age approaches. Thou sometimes dost seek in the head of one who grows old, duly in his own coarse black hair, yet thou findest it not. Thus, when our life shall have been such that the blackness of sins may be sought and known found, that old age is youthful, is green, and ever will be green. Ye have heard of the grass of sinners, hear ye of the old age of the righteous. My old age shall be in the fathers of mercy. And mine eye hath beheld on my enemies, verse 11. Whom doth he call his enemies? All the workers of iniquity. Do not observe whether thy friend be wicked. Let an occasion come, and then thou provest him. Thou beginnest to go contrary to his iniquity, and then thou shalt see that when he was flattering thee, he was thy enemy. But thou hadst not yet knocked, not to raise in his heart what was not there, but that what was there might break out. Mine eye also hath looked upon mine enemies, and mine ear shall hear his desire of the wicked, that rise up against me, when in my old age. What is in old age? In the last times. And what shall you, and what shall our ear hear? Standing on the right hand, we shall hear what shall be said to them that are on the left. The grass withers, the flower of sinners dies away. What of the righteous? The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. Verse 12 The ungodly are green as grass. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. By the palm tree he signifies height. Possibly he had also this meaning in the psalm that in its extremities 
it is beautiful, so that thou mayest trace its beginning from the earth, its end in its topmost branches, wherein its whole beauty dwells. The rough wood appears in the earth, the beautiful foliage toward the sky. Thy beauty too then shall be in the end, thy wood is fixed fast. But our wood is upward, for our wood is Christ who hath ascended into heaven. Humbled he shall be exalted, he shall spread abroad like a cedar in Lebanon. See what trees he spoke of, the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree, and shall spread abroad like a cedar in Lebanon. When the sun hath gone forth, doth the palm tree wither? Doth the cedar die? But when the sun hath been glowing for some hours, the grass dries up. The judgment therefore shall come, that sinners may wither, and the faithful flourish. Such as are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of the house of our God. Verse 12. They shall be yet more increased in fruitful old age, and shall be quiet, and they may show it forth. Verse 13. Such is the Sabbath, which... But a little while ago I commanded unto you, whence the psalm hath its title. They shall be quiet, that they may show it forth. Wherefore, are they quiet, that show it forth? The grass of sinners moves them not, the cedar and palm tree, not even in tempests, are bent. They are therefore quiet, that they may show it forth, and with reason, since at present they must show it forth even unto men who mock at it. O oh, wretched men who are lovers of the world, those who are planted in the house of the Lord show it to you. Those who praise the Lord with a song and lute in word and deed show it forth to you and tell you. Be not seduced by the prosperity of the wicked, Admire not the flower of grass, admire not those who are happy only for a season, but miserable unto eternity. If ye wish to flourish like a palm tree, and to spread abroad like a cedar in Lebanon, and not to wither like grass when the sun is hot, as those who appear to flourish when the sun is absent. If then ye wish not to be as grass, but as the palm tree and the cedar, what will ye show forth? How true the Lord my strength is, and that there is no unrighteousness in him. How is it there is no unrighteousness? A man committeth so great crimes, he is well, he hath sons, a plentiful house, he is full of pride, is exalted by his honours, is revenged on his enemies, and doeth every evil deed. Another man, innocent, attending to his own affairs, not robbing another's goods, doing nothing against anyone, suffers in chains, in prison, tosseth and sigheth in poverty. How is it that there is no unrighteousness in him? Be quiet, and thou shalt know, for thou art disturbed, and in thy chamber thou dost darken thy light. The eternal God doth wish to shine upon thee. Do not then make thee cloudy weather from thy own disturbed mind. Be quiet within, your, within thyself, and see what I say unto thee, because God is eternal, because for the present he spares the bad, bringing them to repentance. He scourges the good, instructing them in the way unto the kingdom of heaven. 
there is no unrighteousness in him. Fear not. What if he leaves his, this man unpunished now, because he is doomed to hear, depart into everlasting fire? But when? When thou shalt be placed at the right hand, then shall it be said to those placed on the left, Depart into the everlasting fire, which is prepared for the devil and his angels. Let not therefore those things move thee. Be quiet, keep Sabbath, and show how true the Lord my strength is, and that there is no unrighteousness in him.